So today I'm feeling a little bit groggy and not so good. And that's because uh, last night, after four weeks on keto, I went out to the cinema and ate half a ton of popcorn, which, see, even I'm not perfect, but I enjoyed it a lot and the film was good. So it was worth it, I think. But today I've woken up and I feel pretty rough, actually. I think it's probably the salt plus breaking keto, the two together. And um, I've got a lot of work to do. Um, I've got some patient notes to write and some reports and a lot of things to do. And so I'm going to go over one of the quick hacks that many people like me use, and that's methylene blue, which, as you can see, makes your tongue bright blue. And it's not to be trifled with because it is technically a medication, although it originally started um, in the 1800s as a dye. Um, but it's a medication that's sort of fallen out of use, only used for rare conditions. And um, things like carbon monoxide poisoning actually would be something that you might use it for. Um, but, and it's often given IV in hospitals. So the side effects that they list are actually very rare when you take it orally. However, it's come to the mainstream media's notice because there's quite a lot of positive research about methylene blue. And that includes the fact that in low doses, it's shown to help a wide range of conditions, particularly neurological ones recently. So it helps your brain function better. Um, and I would say that having taken methylene blue every now and then just to help give my brain a bit of a boost, I really see that positive effect. It particularly um, makes me feel a bit clearer. It makes me feel like I've got a lot more energy, like I can do more. And if I've got a whole load of work and I'm struggling to focus, I'm getting a bit distracted, or which I think everybody does. But if I'm finding I'm just starting something, then starting something else and starting another thing, I'm not quite with it. Um, sometimes methylene blue can be a really great brain booster. And while we should work on our general health, all of us will have a night when we don't sleep properly. We'll go a bit naughty sometimes with our food. We'll do something that knocks us a little bit. And then we have to focus after that. So I would say methylene Methylene blue is quite a good thing to use in that circumstance. However, there are a few really strong contraindications. One of those is not to ever take it if you are on an antidepressant, particularly if you're on any medication, really. It, re it reacts with quite a lot of different medications. Um, antidepressants are the most well-known ones. So I think double check that with a medical provider or double check it online, double check it before you think about taking it and ideally do this under the supervision of a health practitioner. You can be allergic to methylene blue as you can be with any drug. And therefore, if you wanted to take it, you would start it very slowly at a low dose, which we'll go over a brand I really like in a minute and just check that you're not going to have an allergic reaction to it, which would give you hives. They might give you some te tongue swelling, lip tingling. I would say in my experience, that's very rare, but still you have to know about it. The odd person, can have some side effects like nausea, vomiting. It does stain your um, urine bright blue like it stains your tongue, as you can see. And your tongue does stay blue probably for about three days afterwards, though not quite as blue as this. I've only just taken some. So methylene blue can be a really excellent aid to your um, focus and your concentration, but you have to weigh the pros and cons and maybe talk those over the medical practitioner. A brand I really like, which I think you should always get pharmaceutical grade, do not get the stuff that you clean fish tanks with, that's not worth it. Um, and that one is um, just blue, which I really, really like. And um, they come in little troches, which um, I'll show you because I've just taken some of mine. I can never do the packet, which is notoriously difficult why I need to help with my brain. Um, and they come with little troches like this and I cut them in half and I tend to take half of one. I don't tend to take any more. I just cut it in half and then that's what I've taken today. And that's what I often take. I did used to take a whole one, but I find that I get the same benefit on half of one. You can take anywhere from 0.5 um, milligrams per kilogram. So one of these little troches is 16 milligrams. So I've taken eight. So I'm taking a pretty low dose. But if I looked at the fact that, I don't know, I'm 65 kilograms, something like that, then that would... Um, if I, if I weighed myself, then um, obviously I could take a lot more than that, but I choose not to. Um, you can take anywhere up to four milligrams per kilograms, but it's good to stick at these low doses because at higher dose, it doesn't have the same benefit. Um, methylene blue in studies is shown to help with mitochondrial health, which is something that's really big in the functional medicine world now. It helps with energy, and that's why it helps our brain function so much. It's also shown to help with our oxygen demand, so it can be really good for low oxygen states. Um, it can help with long COVID. It's also antibacterial, antiviral, um, and seems to help with infections. So th there's a lot of different research that's only showing positive benefits of methylene blue, so I think it's really something to consider in your toolkit. Um, Troscriptions is available online. It's something that you can consider trying. Obviously, as I said, talk to your medical practitioner, particularly if you've got a health condition first. But for me, it's a great brain boost that I take pretty regularly. And um, in about 40 minutes, I'll find I'll be doing a lot more work and I'll be a lot more focused. That will probably last maybe four to five hours. But I would say I even seem to feel better after it for a period of time. And like after COVID, I felt a little bit tired. I took it quite regularly then. And I think it really improved things generally. So I'd say the jury's still a bit out on full research for it. Little studies have shown 
really positive effects. But for me, it's something that's in my toolkit um, and helps me when I need to get a lot of work done.